Hello, and in this video we're going to look at how to sign up for uh, a trial account of Office 365 including SharePoint and another, uh, a number of other applications. So first of all you need to start off in a browser, I'm in Mozilla and uh, with a search engine Google and we're going to type in SharePoint, I'm going to click the top link, that's going to take us through to a Microsoft page and then at the bottom here we're going to click business and it's going to give us a uh, pricing menu of all the various uh, deployments that we can purchase um, all of these are sold as a service and then what you'll find we're going to look at this one here E3 and we're going to look at the bottom here and it says free trial we're going to click that out so here we're going to begin signing up a new uh, account this is quite an important page because the information that you put in here will be initially the username that you will be using to log in along with the password that you'll be using to log in to get access to your Office 365 account. Now later on those can be changed but it's important that you note them down um, when, you, when you put them in and also it's something that you can, you can use. And also at the bottom here when you complete this page if you don't want Microsoft to contact you, deselect these options. On this page, you'll be asked to enter a telephone number. Mobile's obviously the best because what Microsoft will do here, if you put a mobile number in, is they will text you a set of digits which you'll be asked then to put in on the next page to verify that you're not a robot. Once you receive the code that they send you, what you need to do is just pop it in this box and it will verify to make sure that you're not a robot. So we're now setting up, or Microsoft setting up, the account. As I said, there's your ID important to to capture that and make sure that you've got that saved somewhere and also this is quite an important URL because this will take you to your initial login page to be able to use these credentials i.e. your username and then with the password that you set up once this is completed we'll be able to log in to SharePoint and take our first look at Office 365 with SharePoint